Once again, three three-minute rounds and only one fall, one submission or knockout is going to decide the winner. Introducing in the red corner the British light heavyweight champion, Alan Kilby. His opponent, the firm favourite to win the eight-man battle royal, so he says. In the blue corner from Almarillo, Texas, Texas, Ted Heath. <laughs> Referee, Mr. Ken Joyce. Thank you, Vaughan, and it's uh, Ken Joyce, the referee in this one. Ken Joyce of Rushton, Northamptonshire, the former welterweight champion of Europe. The contestants here, Texas Ted Heath. Originally from Leeds, but lived 12 years in Amarillo, Texas, and his opponent, Alan Kilby, the light heavyweight champion of Great Britain. Second way, round one. Yes. Al Kilby's second, Jimmy Lappers, right there at his corner. And another three, three-minute round contest. One fall to decide it. The light heavyweight champion of Great Britain, Al Kilby, in the ordinary tra trunks with these initials down the side. And Texas Ted Heath, who we haven't seen, we've only seen once on television uh, a few months ago, but um, apart from that, 12 years he's been away in Amarillo, Texas. And yes, there's going to be a few four and a half cuts here. these two men could easily uh, win the battle royal that follows these four solo bouts. I go for our Kilby myself, but Ted Heath goes for Ted Heath. I cannot see him, strong as he is, lasting out against a man like Kilby, but still, we'll see. <laughs> he thought he was going to get a bat. And he was up to the knees. Rolling against it, rolling out against it. Toby, the Deaf wrestler from Sheffield, of course. Yes. One of the most popular wrestlers in the business today. Come on, sir. Pass him. The double handed wrist lever, doing the advantage both times. Come on. Now, Ted Heath going for the hand rather than the wrist. And the knee drop out of the throat. Thirty seconds to go. Four, round one. Five, three, three. Time that one better here. <laughs> well, he seems to be standing there waiting for some more. The back shot got him, but right on the bag of round one. You can't follow it up. Even if he'd got a pinfall there, he'd have no chance of it counting. Ken Joyce would never allow a follow-up like that when his man on the deck. Texas Teddy Heath, nice to see him back in this country for a while. He's over here for a few weeks, I understand. He used to play pro rugby one time for Doncaster and Keith Lee and Bramley. Quite a tough character, one. Second away, round two. Round two. And he's trying to come in with the same action as he finished the last round. One, two, three. I saw you always all about it, 
Texas. He's obviously not going to rely too much on wrestling skill, although I know he's got plenty. There's the back. That back shot can do some so much damage, and it's weakened Kilby for a bit. Oh, is he laying it on? There, is it? <laughs> oh, yes. That could slow Heath down a bit. <laughs> Didn't land so well. He knew he kicked off the ropes. That's a typical Kilby move. And the crotch hold. Slam. All the way down. Got the leg tight. And it must be it. So let's see if Ted Heath lasts longer in the eight-man battle royal than he has in this solo contest. He'll be the winner by the one-four required in round two. So how it happened. Kilby tried to kid us all, including his opponent, that he was weakened much more than he was. Goes for that crotch hole, slams his man, follows up with the le left leg, pulled right up so he's got no chance of getting the shoulder blades off.